Hello and welcome. Before we get started, I want to introduce this tutorial while you watch the steps for making the octagon in time-lapse photography. The octagon building is made with the same techniques that I use to make any multi-sided building that has more than four sides. From basic geometry, we know that the angles used to set the walls for any polygon are dependent on the number of sides. There are more steps to creating a pitched roof for the octagon building than there are for the walls and I will cover the process of making roofs in a follow-up tutorial. Floors for these buildings are also another matter. Today, I will focus only on the exterior walls. There are scripted tools available in Second Life to position prims, but this tutorial is intended to allow you to build the octagon using only the construction methods available from Linden Labs in their standard Second Life viewer. To build an octagon, I start by planning the size of the building. Each of the walls can be made from one or more prims of any size. I generally build my buildings with walls that have dimensions of whole numbers. The steps involved do not rely on any measuring, so the wall size would not change the steps shown in this tutorial. These steps can be done in five minutes and with practice, perhaps even less time is needed. Step one is to create the position the first wall section. I'm going to change the color of this print for the sake of visibility to a deep red. Set its length to the wall dimension that you want each of the final walls to be as measured from the outside of the building. I used four meters for this wall. Now that the first prim is made and located on the building grid, go to the grid selection field on the object tab of the edit window and set the building grid to local. While you build the octagon, the prim width, or in other words, the wall thickness, must be twice the value of what you have planned for the final wall thickness. I will use the drag method to double the wall thickness. Because we now have the building grid set to local, it is a simple matter of dragging one side of the prim to the 2x tick mark on the grid. This thickness will reduce back to the desired wall thickness in the final step. This step of doubling the wall thickness is critical to the success of the building technique illustrated in this tutorial and should not be omitted. Next, using the shift drag method, create a copy of the first wall and slide it to the position at the 50% mark based on the wall length. Using the control rotate method, rotate this prim 45 degrees around the vertical axis. Now that this prim is set to the correct angle, using the left mouse click method, move it the final 50% distance so it is at the final position along its center line. Create the third wall from the last wall you just moved in the same way that you did, make the, did to make the second wall. I will illustrate the making of each wall to reinforce these steps in your mind and illustrate the simple steps used in this construction technique. Shift drag to make a copy. Take it to the 50% mark. Control rotate to a 45 degree tick mark. Left mouse click drag to move to the final position of 50% of the length of the prim. Shift drag to 50%. Control rotate to 45 tick mark left mouse click drag to the final position of 50 percent. Now that all eight prims are set in their place, the last step is to reduce their thickness by dragging the outer face of each wall in towards the center of the octagon. This is still done with the building grid set to local because we doubled the wall thickness at the beginning of construction step number four. We will reduce that thickness to 50 percent of its current value. This will bring us back to the wall thickness that we decided upon during our planning stage of this process. And 
going to go ahead and link all of the eight pieces together. And now also as a matter of good housekeeping and good building practice, I give it a meaningful name. Thank you for watching and listening.